This is my classic American muscle autocross project Mustang on day one. A 2004 3.8 liter V6 coupe. It was completely unmodified and based on the condition it was loved by its previous owner. It runs really well despite its mileage and all my checks determined that the car was well maintained. If you're in the market for a V6, you'll want to listen to the valve train. These cars are notorious for ticking due to bent pushrods. There are also rubber grommets on the valve covers for the PCV system that degrade and cause air leaks that affect how the engine runs. And the factory headers have a tendency to crack and cause exhaust leaks. The 3.8 is a tough, torquey little motor and this one seems to have all its ponies and power intact. What's not so tough is the chassis. Underneath that new edge exterior is essentially a Fox body chassis that was designed in the 1970s. While stiffer than previous generations, this 2004 Mustang needs a lot of bracing to survive the punishment it's going to take on course. I want the chassis to be as rigid as possible, but I also need to make sure the weight I'm adding is in the right place. I don't have a choice when it comes to the strut tower brace, shock tower brace, and lower chassis brace. There's only one location where they each fit. Strut tower braces are a great way to stiffen up the front end of your Mustang. I chose this one from Steeda because it's made from chromoly steel and is lighter and stronger than other braces on the market. And it fits with their caster camber plates. I also like the fact that it mounts flush against the firewall and not on the pinch weld. I went with Steeda's rear shock tower brace because it's also made from very light chromoly steel. It does need to be welded in. Keeping the strut and shock towers from flexing in and out will allow the suspension to do its job with confidence. I wanted a four-point lower chassis brace up front because these cars have a tendency to flex behind the K-member. This one is from Stifler's. It's very strong and extremely light, and it comes with a durable black powder coat. So I've got my strut towers tied together, my shock towers tied together, and my K-member tied to the frame. But what about the weakest link in these cars, the subframe? I could use subframe connectors and a roll cage to tie the front and rear of the car together, but a roll cage isn't necessary for autocross, and it puts the weight up high in the car, exactly where I don't want it. I need as much mass centralization as possible, but I want any added mass to be low on the body. The best solution is Stifler's fit system. Full-length subframe connectors and jacking rails tied together with web braces. This makes the chassis incredibly stiff, and it adds 42 pounds in the middle of the car as low as possible on the frame. You also get the benefit of being able to jack the car up from any point along the jacking rail. All of the components come with a durable black powder coat, but Stifler's leaves the areas that need welding uncoated to save you some prep time. The strut tower brace, shock tower brace, lower chassis brace, and fit system add about 50 pounds to the car, getting me closer to the required cam C weight of 3,250 pounds. But more importantly, together they eliminate nearly all the flex in the chassis. A stiff pony has better handling, weight transfer, and composure than one that twists with every turn. Steeda's strut tower brace comes with detailed instructions and installs in about an hour and a half. You will have to drill holes in the shock towers and firewall and trim the plastic firewall cover. Be sure to check your hood clearance before drilling the holes. Steeda's rear shock tower brace also comes with great instructions. You will have to remove some seam sealer and sound deadener for the install. You'll also need to cut the plastic trim in the trunk to fit around the bar. I've purchased several Steeda rear shock tower braces. All but one of them fit just fine. This particular one was about an inch too short and had to be lengthened. Installing the brace and trimming the trunk panels takes about an hour. Stiflers provides detailed instructions with their parts and online. You will have to drill holes in the K-member to install the lower chassis brace, and that is some very thick metal. So a good drill and drill bits are required. Stiflers provides a jig to correctly position the holes, but I've had to elongate one hole every time I've installed one of these. So it's good to have a die grinder handy. The install takes about an hour. Stifler's fit system is incredibly well engineered and the instructions are extremely precise. This is an involved install that requires the removal of the carpet, 
the plastic rocker covers, and prepping the areas of the chassis that will be welded. The taped off bare metal areas line up for the most part, but I had to grind away some powder coating in a few areas to keep the welds clean. Take your time when welding, and always check that the sound deadening in the car doesn't catch fire. The fit system prep and install took about six hours. What did I end up with after nine hours of install time? A car that feels completely different than the vehicle I started with. It's like I was driving the car wearing oven mitts and ten pairs of socks before I did the mods. Now I can sense the stiffness in the chassis even under normal driving. The car changes direction more confidently, and everything from the steering to the braking feels more immediate. That's great for autocrossing, but not so great in terms of NVH, noise, vibration, and harshness. If you have some little interior rattles, they'll probably get worse. Vibrations will be more evident in the steering wheel and shifter, and you'll feel just about every crack in the road. Something to consider when using these mods on a streetcar. But this isn't a streetcar. All this car ever has to do is autocross. And for that purpose, these parts do their job spectacularly. A car's ability to attack the cones relies on getting precise feedback from the suspension and the tires. Chassis Flex numbs that feedback. I want to feel exactly how much grip I have, and I want to be confident that the car is going to change direction when I ask it to. That all comes down to a well-braced chassis. Adding Stita's strut and shock tower braces, and Stifler's lower chassis brace and fit system will give your Mustang the rock-solid foundation it needs to fight flex.